All right, time being 7 o'clock. It's time for the May 25th City Council meeting. Can I get a call to order roll call, please? Ellen. Here. Gates. Here. Gassinius. Here. Here. Blue Hop. Here. Sorry. Here. All rise to say the Pledge of Allegiance, please. Pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. You get a motion to approve the agenda as written. Motion. <laughs> Second. Yeah. Second. 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 All those in favor? Hi. Hi. I get a motion to approve the consent agenda as written. Toward the, toward the training. Second. Motion by Tammy. Second by Zach. You were so eager for Any the questions, comments? My first one is the capital projects first page for the weed control EMS building site. Does it have to come out of the lost funds? Um, yes, because right now um, that's where also the architect would be coming out of. Okay. And it was budgeted for. Okay. Okay. Anybody else? <laughs> All those in favor? Aye. 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 <laughs> okay. Now it's time for receiving five communication pistons from Obstas. We have one. Did everybody have a chance to read it? Yes. Yep. So filed. We'll probably look at that here once we get the driveway done, by the way. Yes. So. Anything else? Seeing none. Moving on, committee reports. I have two. Um, so, general government that before this took over changes to the floodplain ordinance. We've made some changes and corrections that will get written up so that we can vote on that at the next meeting. Um, and then also the what is the word? I'm community visioning met last week. Um, and there were a lot of conversations in the focus groups and everything that we've been doing surrounding the sidewalks in town. Um, and that seems more like something that maybe we should discuss as a council on how we can improve our sidewalk program and get that going a little better. So we can talk about that. That was it. The Handbook Review Committee met yesterday afternoon. Um, our main topic of discussion was longevity. We um, will have a final proposed handbook, I think, at our next meeting. So. Anything else? All right, moving on. Now it's time for citizens' input. Council won't take any action at this meeting, but may do so at a future meeting. Please limit your presentation to three minutes. Anybody? Anybody out there? If anybody wishes to address the council, please use the green hand button at the bottom of your Zoom app. Seeing none, moving on, going on to old business. Hey, now we're going to auction off the house at 305 East 5th Street. Everybody understands that? Blake, you want to give a quick rundown about the payment and everything else before we start? Starting bid, $5,000. Uh, there are stipulations that I've spoken to many of you about regarding required repairs and improvements. Uh, full payments due within seven days and full ownership of property will not be given until uh, the end of the timeline and all required um, improvements are completed. Okay. I would add we do have a purchase agreement for a signature tonight, so don't run away right away. All righty. So, that being said, 
I will entertain an opening bid of five thousand dollars from somebody. Anyone? Right. I'll bid. Okay, I got one five thousand. Three signed up. Out of six. Out of six. Ten. Ten. Fifteen. Fifteen. Sixteen. Seventeen. I got seventeen. I'm done. Anybody want to go out past 17? 18. Twenty-nine and looking for thirty. Uh, yeah, I'll go thirty. Thirty-one. I'm done. Yeah. Anybody want to go with thirty-two? Sold thirty-one thousand dollars. Thank you. Thanks, Andy. Yeah. Hang around, Ann. She'll get the paperwork we're going to sign tonight before you take off. You're going to stick to that timeline, right? I'm going to tell you the same thing I told you guys. Thanks. All right, let's go. I didn't see any room left. All right. Moving on to item B. Item B, number 2015. Said property, 305 East 5th Street. Now I need a motion resolution directing the disposal of an interest in real property following a public hearing. So moved. Second. Motion by Bethany, second by Riley. Your roll call, please. Parmeter? Yes. Stark? Yes. Asin, yes. Yep. Gates? Yep. Flu Hop? Yes. yes. Elwick? Yes, MJ. All right, so done. Yes. So now we're going to slide right into 512 West 6th Street auction. You may want to bid on that one too. 5,000, opening the bid. Kids? <laughs> you want that one too, Angie? It, it, you know what it is, it's just an empty lot for sale. It's just home. Yeah. But there are stipulations you got to build. Oh, I got 5,000 from Dakota. I'm going to house. Come on now. Dakota says he's going to go up to 15. <laughs> so, anybody else want to bid on that? All right, I close it. Dakota, you got a lot for $5,000. Now uh, I need public hearing on disposal of real estate owned by the city of Benton, 512 West 6th Street. Can we wish to speak? Closing the public hearing. Wait, I, oh. yeah, I want to speak. I need to know what undivided means on a property. Hmm? What? Undivided, what does it mean? This is in This is a public auction thing. Well, I, I still want to know. Well, I can, I can tell you, but it won't be part of this meeting. Yeah, this Why? Did you, did you well, know you lied? This is a different agenda item. I'm sorry. This is not the time we're talking about general, <laughs> general public comments. It's all. city council, right? Uh, yeah, yeah, it's city I'll council. Defer to them. But you're, you, you missed your public The input. public comments was about Public input. Oh, okay, I'll wait. I'll wait. Yeah. Okay, thank you. All right. So I closed the public hearing, and now I need a resolution directing disposal of interest in real property following a public hearing. Second. Second. Which my Bethany sent me Zach. Anybody got any questions? Roll call. Stark. Yes. Blue Hop. Yes. The seniors. Mm -hmm. Elwick. Yes. Gates. Yep. Mm -hmm. Parmeter. Yes. All right. I talked to Nate earlier this week. He has daughter things, so I told him he's excused from coming to this. So now I need a motion for approval contract with J.R. Stelser. Company for the East Water Tower painting project. Motion second. Motion by Riley, second by Bethany. Anybody got any questions on that? 
This is one payment under his estimate as well, I believe. Right. They're and doing again, the line item does have the stencil on it. Yeah. So well, I was going to say, are they doing a stencil or are they projecting it? If they it? don't do a stencil, then we'll get a credit back at $2,000. Thanks, Andrew. Maybe any questions? For a roll call. Parmenter? Yes. Cassinius? Elwick? Yes. Blue Hop? Yes. Gates? Yep. Stark? Yes. All righty. I need a motion for approval of the contract with parents excavating for B Avenue Sanitary Sewer Extension. Motion. Second. Motion by Zach, second by Andrew. Uh, may, Mr. Mayor? Yep. If approved tonight, um, they would like to do the pre construction meeting on Tuesday and would like to begin on Wednesday. Let your brother know? I don't think he knows. No. No, can you let your brother know? Oh, yeah, okay. Super. You said right. Tuesdays when they're going to start? That's pre cons Tuesday, so if you want to come to that. Okay. So he's more than welcome. Well, anyways, more than welcome to come. So. Anybody got any questions? Roll call, please. Gates? Yep. Stark? Yes. Blue Hop? Yes. Permitter? Yes. Seniors? You betcha. Elwood? Yes. Uh, if they're going to start on Wednesday, though, they'll have to get some notices up to all the people up and around there. Right? So we'll probably have to do that on Tuesday. Okay. <coughs> That's going to be part of the meeting on Tuesday afternoon. All righty. Thank you. There's no time for that yet. Two o'clock. Is that what it is? I didn't see a time. I was. I thought it was at three. Three. So I. We'll reach out with the time. Thank you. It's in the afternoon. <laughs> What a lunch to show up. Mm -hmm. All right, now I need a motion for approval of dump body purchase and install from Troop Coon Trees. Second. Motion. Bethany, second by Riley. And the same truck body as before, but the price is completely increased. Oh, I said here at City Hall. Were you going to pay $32,000 for it? Yeah. Oh, what well, it was said about ten minutes ago here. I'm hand you down so slow. Uh, here. Yeah, sorry. All right. Anybody got any questions on that? Roll call. Parmenter. Yes. Asinius. Mm -hmm. Gates. Yep. Elwick. Yes. Stark. Yep. Flu hot. Yes. All right. Moving on to some new business. Now I need motion approval resolution approving the creation and addition of a flexible spending account as an employee benefit. No. Second. Motion by Bethany, second by Riley. Uh, this was follow up from the last work session we had um, about <clears throat> adding a flex spending offering for employees. Right now there's 12 to 15 that are seriously mm -hmm. interested mm -hmm. in it. Um, our plan is to have PDCM and our AFLAC rep here on Thursday to fully explain insurance for next year as well as this plan and get people signed up. So there is serious interest from the employees. All righty. Any questions? Roll call. Gates. Yep. Elwick. Yes. Flu Hop. Yes. Parameter? Yes. The seniors? Yep. Start. Yes. All right. Now I need motion approval resolution set a hearing and give notice on a proposed ordinance to amend the zoning district map. Motion second. Motion by Riley, second by Bethany. Any questions? All righty. Roll call, please. Parameter? Yes. The seniors? Stark? Yep. Flu Hop? Yes. Gates? Yep. Elwick? Yes. So that hearing is in the resolution as of next meeting. Yep. Yep. Correct. All right. Now I need a motion for approval with street closure request for the Vince Farmer's Market for summer 2023. Motion. Second. Motion by family. Second by Zach. Matt, is this your baby? Is Matt here? Scotty is. Oh, no. Sorry. Scotty is. 
sorry. Anything? Okay. Okay. I'm sure the police department has been notified and we're all in favor. Sounds good. Yep. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Roll call, please. Elwick. Yes. Start. Yes. Gates. Yes. Fluhop. Yes. Cassinius. Mm -hmm. Parmeter. Yes. All right. I need a motion for approval of special event application for Boomtown, August 26, 2023. Motion. Second. Motion by Tammy, second by Riley. Scott, same thing. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Roll call. Parmeter. Yes. Asenius. Yeah. Gates. Yep. Elwick. Yes. Sarge. Yes. Blue Hop. Yes. All right. Now we need to set a date for a public hearing on the proposed contract documents and estimated cost for the West First Street Improvements Project. Which again came in under budget. Yes. Um, well, underestimate. We'll say that. Actually, quite a few of them did. Actually. Yeah. So that will also be on mm -hmm. June 8th at 7 p.m. Any questions on that? So done. Now I need to also set a date for a public hearing for the FY23 budget amendment. That date will also be. No. 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 no we have one. a special one. No. This is what I called you about. This was my error. I forgot that budget publications have a different time frame than the regular um, publication time frames. So in order to meet our state May 31st deadline for the budget amendment, um, we, need, we, we need to have a special meeting Tuesday at noon, at noon over Zoom. Over Zoom. Um, the budget amendments already published publication deadlines in that. Um, we still need our state deadline. We just need a quick. Cool. Can someone remind me? Five minutes. Send out a meeting invite. Great. You want me to do Zoom by myself? <laughs> uh, there's a phone number. You can call the phone number. Really? There's a phone. We'll give you the or number. Or you can come down here. He ain't got me in there. I'll give you a phone number. Or you can call my cell phone. Okay. They want you to do this. <laughs> All right, any questions on that? <laughs> so that public hearing is Tuesday noon via Zoom, since we're all busy people. All right, moving on to reports. Chris. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Um, man, it's just a lot of stuff be going on in the hopper. Um, Working, beginning to work on continuing disclosure for all the bonds we have. That's going to be due, due on June 30th with our financial advisor. So I have a meeting with her next week about continuing disclosure. Brick RFQs are due next week on Friday. I've already had a couple of engineers already contact that are interested in it. Um, so that is that's a good sign. Right now, um, for the parking lot, everybody is is willing to meet um, next week out there on site for the parking lot at Marv Lindsay just waiting on a call from the county engineer. Um, the no parking signs have been approved by the Board of Supervisors this past Tuesday. And finally, um, earlier this week, had a meeting with um, Director Debbie Durham and also State Senator um, our, our state senator uh, McClintock and also with the director of the Iowa Finance Authority and a follow-up call yesterday from the director of the Iowa Finance Authority. Uh, the question they have is um, what does Vinton mean as far as economic development? Uh, Financial support from them. Yes. So it was a meeting along with the Hobarts as well. But, um, there were also questions on we understand what the Hobarts are looking for, but really, what is the city looking at on this? So we had a very good conversation on that, just one on one. And that's all I had for my report, Mr. Mayor. Hey, hey. Hey. Uh, busy, busy. Um, lots of building going on in town. Um, really busy on the code enforcement side. Also, been re-engaging with a few uh, long time problem properties recently. Um, 
And I know you guys have been asking about uh, the house on 2nd Avenue the, that caught fire. Uh, I've been in contact with Tyler this entire time. Um, he's in a really tough situation where the insurance company is denying the claim against the property. The loan is held by the federal government through a VA loan. So there's a whole lot of not communicating occurring there. And he's kind of caught in the middle. Um, but it is almost, it's been almost a year now. Um, I requested if he'd give me access to the property uh, on Wednesday and he, he had no problem with that. So I went there, um, inspected the property in preparation for a possible condemnation. Um, it, it's obviously an unsafe structure and unfit for human occupation. So it will be condemned and ideally that will maybe help the powers that be move things along a little better to get that situation fixed for him. Otherwise, you know, he, he, he seems to be just kind of ready to walk away from it and just be done. He, there was also an individual that he had requested to come there to do a bid for demolition. So um, there is progress of one kind or another happening there. Has anyone from the city been contacted by either the bank or the insurance company? I tried speaking to the bank um, to let them know that, you know, if, if something was going to start happening, that the city was going to be taking action against the property. Um, I didn't get anywhere with them. I was passed from phone tree to phone tree. The insurance company is denying the claim outright due to um, his policy the way it is written in the situation that occurred there. So they haven't reached out to the city at all. Was that by a structural engineer that that was said or by you that it was deemed unsafe? By me. It's safe probably. I'm pretty sure it's safe. Our building was safe. That's all I'm saying. Your building with no windows it was, it was safe. Doors? It was a safe building by a structural engineer. But Blake said it was unsafe. So does he, he have swing or what? What's going on here? So like, that's his authority. So no it's not you really. You guys are going in on people's properties and taking their stuff comments. on our properties. We have constitutional rights, right? Absolutely. Okay, well, we have the right to own property. We have the right to own things and to have those things on our property, correct? As long as they meet all the city ordinances. So you guys make it so there's, like, Whatever. Yes. I know you like Blake. What's undivided mean? Unsplit. I you think. But that property was undivided. You know that, right? It's two separate parcels. No, it's not. Okay. No, we're not going to have undivided. You feel you got a legal claim? I do, and I, I'm already on it. Don't okay. Do that. You guys are Thank you. Ridiculous. Lovely. Anything else, Blake? Um. We received our grant money from the DNR for the environmental uh, inspection and asbestos inspection at East School. So our work there was paid for. Um, I haven't heard anything more from the owners. I guess it's kind of we should have a discussion at some point in the future how if we want to pursue this any further with them. Um, so other than that, not a whole lot. We're going to end up owning that. Are we going to end up owning it? <laughs> um, sooner or later, either we end up owning it through the current owners or someone ends up with it through a tax certificate and tax deed and they walk away and we end up with it. Has there been any movement on the seed house? Uh, yeah, sorry. Um, they've been mowing. Okay. And we have a court date July 12th. Okay. They pled not guilty. Okay. Anything else? Yeah. So the playground build, um, we're coming along. Um, the start of next week, we got one problem area kind of figured out. Um, the tall poles on one of the towers, we got those up today. Um, but we're going to knock out a big chunk and try to get it.
done by next week, but there's no definitive date for that. Um, the pool opens this Saturday, first day for the pool. The mini golf course will be um, Friday, June 2nd for that, and then all of our summer programs are kicking off the beginning of June, so we're staying busy. Fantastic. Splash pad is open. Yes, splash pad is open. <coughs> Oh, we did. Yeah. Perfect. All right. Any questions for Scotty? I know the Vin PD always has good comments. Gary. <coughs> I got nothing. I'm here. Weird. As cold. <laughs> That's bad. All right. Uh, moving on. Uh, I'm glad we got the property sold. That's a very good thing. Yeah, that's um, good. There is going to be a lot of activity happening again with all the construction going to be starting. So uh, please, everybody. Oh, I'm going to do mine first, and then you get it. <laughs> <laughs> it's on a roll. I figured you were done. You already talked. So. But anyhow, so yeah, just make sure everybody's being safe around the new construction. That's going to be pretty important. First Street's going to be a oh, yes. zoo. So. All right, Melissa, no, now it's your turn. Thank you. Uh, I had our first, or not, I shouldn't say our first. I had our setup call with Laserfish, the online record retention digitalizing company we're now working with. Um, so we're just beginning to get in and scan things and get stuff moved over. And it's very exciting. We're looking forward to it. Um, probably more importantly, uh, I've started having weekly calls with S&J Sanitation about the transition for July 1. Um, things, are, things are going well. Um, we have a little blurb going out on uh, the bills that will be going out June 1. But they're in touch with the live wire about more information as well as um, the flyers that will be on the carts. Uh, right now the only I would say maybe point of concern is when JNR are going to remove their dumpsters from some of the complexes because there simply isn't enough real estate to have two dumpsters there. Um, there's not a whole lot of cooperation on that front. Um, but we have a little bit of time left, so we'll figure something out. So. Have they been in touch as far as picking up their bins? Not yet? I've reached out asking what their time frame was, and they said, I'm not sure. I'll let you know when we know. Okay. <coughs> so they are planning to come to, um, I think they've been in touch with Scott about coming to Party in the Park. We're going to be at Farmer's Market this summer as well, just answering questions. Um, they are going to pick up Fourth of July. They are fully staffed, ready for all of that. Um, Julie has even offered to be in Vinton rather than working at her office, but to be here physically, even talking to customers if they come in that first week of rollout. So things are looking very promising so far. Very exciting. Anything else? Is it? Lovely. Good welfare. It is Memorial Weekend, so please observe it accordingly. Are, is the school and the VFW doing their parade on Memorial Day? I'm not sure if they have. I've not heard about that. I don't think so. I they're not. They're not. not so no, they're heavy. Dropping a read. No band or anything? Haven't heard anything about that. They're yeah, kind of quiet this year. They will have the summer meals going on for families again this summer. It's going to be at Har where is it, Harvest. Uh, it's not going to be at the school. <coughs> yeah, yeah, because of the location. Location. Yeah. They were looking at the Don Martin shelter yeah. as one option, but that's not going to work out for them. Is it, I think it's four square. Yeah. The harvest. It, yep. Just right in the central. It brings the four areas together there. So. Yeah. So, uh, so just want people 
it, the kids be mindful of where the location is going yeah. to be for this song as it's changed from where it was before. June 6th, I believe we're getting a visit from the governor out to AmeriCorps as well. A little ceremony for some of their volunteer program she has going on. That's a good thing. Very good. Anybody got anything else? I need a motion for adjournment? Motion. Motion by Ron. Second by Zach. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Aye.